This is a simple tutorial video on how to use the Inkscape program to convert any image into an SVG file, then upload it into Tinkercad to manipulate it as a straight three-dimensional extrusion. So first what we're going to do is navigate to your web browser, um, go to the Inkscape website. Uh, you can search for it in Google by typing in uh, Inkscape and this is where it will take you and from here you want to choose the download tab and click current version now you'll choose the operating system or PC that you're type that you're using download it and install from here the second thing we're going to do is find a logo you may already have one but what I'm gonna do is grab one off the internet so I've already chosen this logo here in my other tab through royalty free logos right click we're gonna grab that image by saying save image as with my downloads I'm gonna call it my test SVG image and I'm going to click save yes I'm gonna overwrite it now that we have that PNG file I am going to close this minimize that now load in your Inkscape program and once it's open, let me start from the beginning here. So now once it's open, what we want to do is we'll go File, uh, Import, and we will find our test SVG image. Click Open. The dialog box will pop up. We'll just simply say OK. I like to work with it in the center. You can scale this too at this point if it's a little smaller. If you hold the Control button down while you scaling it will scale uniformly now what we're going to do with our object selected is go to the path menu and we are going to say trace bitmap and on the right up pops this little another dialog box highly recommend saying live preview so you can get an idea of what the output is going to look like once we click the OK button I'm pretty happy with what I've got for uh, for what I've got here for my settings so I'm going to click OK now now I'm going to close this dialog box, I'm going to go back to my image, I'm going to drag my copied path over here. And I can see my original image and this is my copy. I'm going to select that, I'm going to erase the original image. I'm going to move that back into work area and now I'm ready to save it. So I'll say file, save as. Pretty important for, um, for Tinkercad that you say plain SVG. I'm going to save it as my test SVG file. I'm going to click Save. Yeah, it worked. I saved it. Okay, now that that's done, we'll minimize our Inkscape program. Go back to our web browser. And go to Tinkercad. So now I've already got it here. We'll go back to Tinkercad. Uh, we'll create a new design. And we'll say Import. When we import, we'll choose our file. And that will be our test SVG right here say open import and presto we have our converted our converted image to SVG and now uh, as a 3d model hope that helps uh, thanks for watching